All right, welcome to the second episode of Manjaro Boot Camp. In the last episode, we told you how to get your Manjaro Linux installed. So now you've got it installed and all that lot. Now what do you do? Well, first thing to do is to check out this little welcome application thing. Comes up every time you boot your computer up. If you don't want that, just click there and it will be sorted. Uh, you want to check most of this stuff out, but mainly the wiki. I will just show you that quickly now. Uh, it takes a bit to load because this isn't on actual hardware. If you were running this on a real PC, it would mod load up much quicker. But, as you can see, all the information you would ever want or need about Manjaro is here. Also, another good place to get information is the Arch wiki. Because basically more or less what applies to arch applies here as well more or less let me show you the arch that's wiki now as you can see there you go so any problems you have you'll probably get a solution on one of the two failing that there's also some forums chat room and that so probably make an account on the forums and pop in in the chat room whatever else but that doesn't matter first thing you want to do upon booting up your new Manjaro installation is check for updates. To do that, literally just search up software update, click that and it'll check for updates and this is the little icon down here which in the future should tell you if you have updates. Obviously I don't have any but you might have some. Second thing to do, this may seem slightly minor but it is absolutely saving time and will solve a lot of confusion. Just click on this little icon down here, click properties, and go ahead and select in the, um, I believe it's under behavior, which it might not be. Um, yes, indeed, it's under behavior, and you just want to click switch categories by hovering. Now, as you can see, by hovering over it, it switches the category. What a time saver that is. Also, if you don't like this little thing, changing that is literally a matter of just going down to appearance and setting the category icon size to very small, and there you go, solve that. Just one or two customizations to your menu, since that will be where you're spending most of your time on this OS. May as well get it good. Second thing you want to do, go into the add remove software. In the future, this will be where you're getting your software from, so you might want to check it out and learn how to use that. Go ahead, just go click Preferences. Put in your password, whatever that may be. And go over to AUR and turn it on. And simple as that. Now, why would you want to do this? What on earth is the AUR? The AUR is the Arch User Repositories. Most software, or a lot of software that you could want, will be from there. Uh, for example, if you wanted, say, Spotify, which is a popular music application. You can see I search up on the repositories, not there. AUR, there you go, Spotify. Yeah, another example would be Google Chrome. I search that up. AUR. Indeed, there it is over the repositories you just have your chromium um, and there you go such is the benefit of the AUR another thing uh, to do upon installation sounds a bit daft I know it sounds like not very fitting but another thing to do really is to learn how Manjaro is different from Windows sounds a bit daft but it has a lot very different features to Windows uh, for example this will minimize it, useful feature, so you can take up less screen space. Yeah, you kind of get your categories over here, and you don't install software from the internet, like I say, you just install it from here, and the AUR basically has any software you could ever want or need, assuming it isn't built in here. Another thing I would suggest you do is get some better software, for example, VLC and install this from the Manjaro repositories or just repositories 
is a significantly better media player to what they've included here. Um, if you're more of a Windows user or whatever else, chances are you're probably using Chrome. So you will want to install that, of course. And then there's some other stuff you might want to install, like OpenShot, which is a simple video editor, and there's all other things. Uh, also, incidentally, if you want a specific piece of program but don't want know what to look up, for example, if I wanted a video editor, search that up, and you've got yourself a load of video editors, so you don't need to know what it's called specifically. Of course, we're not going to install those packages, because why would we? And really, that's all you really need to do upon installation. I know a lot of other tutorials pile up and pile up on what you need to do, but realistically, that's all you need to do upon installing. Uh, finally, the only real thing you need to do is learn how to use Manjaro by reading through the wikis and whatever else you should want to do. Thanks for watching.